is Candace from Happy Catastrophe, and um, I am so excited to be here today because I have lotion on my hands, and look what I'm doing to my mat. Uh, because um, I am going back to work tomorrow. I have been injured, I injured my hip sitting. See my just previous video, um, and where I did open some Happy Mail, and um, I have high speed internet at work. There's, so I'll be able to upload some videos because I have missed you guys so much. In fact, um, I just did a trial run of sitting where I got on my John Deere mower with my trailer hooked up in the back and me and Jack, Jack running along beside, we rode over to the farm next door, the organic farm, to get some more strawberries. <laughs> they still have strawberries. I didn't think they would. And that was a bit much, riding a lawnmower. So, um, Hopefully tomorrow, my, I'm going to take a muscle relaxant before I get in the car or maybe when I wake up so that by the time I get in the car, I'll be ready. And then I'll drive the hour and a half to work and I'll just try to breathe and make sure I don't jack up my hip again. Then when I get to work, I'll make sure I get up and walk often, more often than I do. And then on the drive home, I'll do the same with another muscle relaxant. So that's my plan for tomorrow. Right now, though, look what I have. Frozen strawberries and ice in a glass of water in a mason jar with a metal straw. Ah, it's so good. I didn't realize they still had strawberries. I mean, it's almost September. In fact, they close down to the public next week. So I only have one more day off before they close down so I can, I, I bought a lot of strawberries today, but they're all being, washed, cut up, and frozen so that I can get through the winter without strawberries. Um, and I also bought some other things I'm going to cook for dinner tonight, so I'm really excited. Okay, so I sat down to rest. Uh, my hip's feeling pretty good, and I thought, you know, I should get some coloring in because I can only color in short bursts right now, sitting. But I can't stand not spending some more time with you, and I've got space timber on my mind. So I pushed my coloring aside and I got my filming stuff out and we're gonna talk about my plans for September. And I, so I'm gonna be showing you a lot of buddies um, and a lot of different books. I am way full and can't accept any new buddies, new pages, but if you see a page that I'm doing that you wanna join, just instant message or direct message me on Instagram. And you can join me with my buddy and we can do a little group buddy on that page and that would be great. Okay, I'm gonna get set up and I'll be right back. So just look at this craziness. <laughs> this is, these are the September plans. Well, see, I'm just starting to plan even October. But these are my September buddies. That's more, that's a lot of pages, but we'll get to it. We'll do it. I've got them all done for August, which is exciting, almost. I think I have two that I didn't finish yet, but they were, we were gonna do August and September. So I think I'm still on track, even though I missed almost a week being injured. So I wanna start out by showing you this book. Now this is not, I'm not gonna do anything out of this book in, in, for Space Timber. But this Coloring Heaven Enchanted Animal Special with Kanoko Gusa, I had it out anyway because I'm, it's going to be added soon into my coloring book inventory on the next video. But there's a great space page in this one. And I know some of you have this book, so I just wanted to show you. There's only one. Um, Kanoko Gusa doesn't tend to do much space. And I've already colored it so um, quite a while ago. And this was a test page I did. But... Um, to see what worked on. This is my first Coloring Heaven book. Actually, I think it's my only book. The rest of them I bought on PDF. So I wanted to see what worked on the paper. And this one has a moon and then stars and like a little galaxy trail and all, you know, and sleeping kittens. I mean, it's adorable. And so if you have this, and this was an easy fat, now it wasn't a fast color for me because I was testing a lot of different mediums and, and stuff. But if you're not testing mediums and you just want to color it, it's easy and fast because there's not a lot to color really. I mean, this black background is already there. So um, if you want a fun, cute space timber picture, this would be awesome. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that one exists in this special, which is freaking phenomenal. And we'll go through this when I put it in my book. Okay, let's talk about space timber. Now, uh, wrong pile. Okay, so I do have a buddy 
in this one. And this buddy is with Cindy, my friend Cindy. And Cindy Peel. And Cindy and I uh, are communicating back and forth uh, about um, which page. And silly Instagram took away the images that she had put up. So I'm not exactly sure what images we're looking at. But she did say the one with the moon. And there's only one with the moon. So I think it's this one. And this is the one I'd like to do. So Cindy, um, I think we're on different we're in different times. And so our chat is kind of slow back and forth. But this is the one I would love to do. Now, this is an untouched book for me, and it was a wonderful gift from my friend, Beth Wilson, my silent subscriber, Beth, and uh, this will be my first page in it, and it will work for Space Timber because of the moon. I think it's the only page in here that has a, a space reference, so I'm really excited, and I, I think I want to make her like an alien. <laughs> I think so. I'm not sure, but uh, something like that. She, There's something that about her clothing that's triggering something for me, and I can't, once I figure it out. So, Cindy, let's do this one if you haven't already have your heart set on another one, but um, I know this is one of the choices. Um, so that's going to be really fun. So if anybody else wants to join with me in The Magical Colors of Fairies by Angela Gonzalez, that would be wonderful. This is such a, a joyous, fun book. Okay, here's one that I don't have a buddy with, and it's kind of low on my priority too. I, I'm going to get my buddies done first, but I know I brought. I wanted to pull this one out because a lot of you are, are frightened of this book. <laughs> Francois Gautier is amazing, right? He's super, super talented and super, super detailed, and he just needs to pull it back a little bit so that we can color his pages better. But he's fantastic. But this book is different. This book is made to look 3D. So people look at these pages and like, how do I color that? And see, that's that right there is a space one. And that's one of the ones I'm considering. Because they're very fast and they're very easy. You just use markers. I mean, I think pencils would give you the same thing, but it's super smooth paper. I would just use markers. And because it's single-sided, I would use alcohol markers. I think that gives the best results. But if you don't have alcohol markers, water-based will work as well. Because you want something where his natural shadowing, which is what makes this look 3D, comes through. Because then, when you do color it, see, when you do color it and you use just a marker, this one creeps me out and I really want to do it. You get this. This was so fast and easy, I did it in one evening. It's just alcohol markers. There's no need to shade because he does all the shading for you. So, um, yeah, so that's just alcohol marker and it comes out looking great. And so I know a lot of people are worried about this, but if you want an easy page that looks like you spent a long time on it, this is basically a cheater book. <laughs> just straight color it and all the shadows come through. It's really neat. It's got some really neat stuff to it. I think it's a brilliant book. This is another one I colored. It's not super popular because just because people don't know what to do with it. But again, this was straight colored. And then the only extra thing I did was I did the beads in a glitter gel pen. But this was just one color of alcohol marker. I didn't, I wasn't fancy at all. And this, this took me probably a couple evenings because I, the glitter pens have to dry, but so easy. I mean, that looks like, a, I, this was early on in my coloring too. I didn't have a lot of skills. So it works really great for a beginner colorist. This is a great book. Just don't be frightened by how weird it looks, right? So I don't know if there was another, I love that B one. Isn't that cool? That's gonna look really cool when it's colored. Um, there's another space one. Let's see, did we have any more? Oh, that's gonna be neat. It's just, it looks like the things are coming off the page at you. There's another really good space one. So they're made to look, and they do really do look 3D when you, I mean, that looks like it's coming right at you. But I would just take the same color. You know, you don't change colors because it's some, this is different than grayscale. Grayscale sometimes tells you where to put the shadows. This is shadowed purposely. You want to use the same color. I mean, you don't necessarily want to switch to a darker pen. You can, but I think you get the better effect by just using the same color. So it really just, this dark shadow comes through. And that way it's, I think these color differently than grayscale. 
Although grayscale, I do that as well. I just use one color over everything. Look at that. Neat, huh? So yeah, don't be frightened of this book. This is a, there's this great space one. I think this was the one I was thinking of because I don't do a lot of pages with spaceships. And I think this will be really cool when it's colored and it really will look like, you know, a Star Wars type thing. And again, I'm not gonna get fancy. I don't get fancy in this book. I have another one I've colored. Oh, look at that one. No, I think my, maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll see where I get there, but I would like to do one of these space. Um, this one's really cool. One of these space pages. Yeah. So yeah, you can find this book probably super cheap on Book Outlet if you're in the States. Um, it's an older book. I think you can find it anywhere. You're not gonna pay a ton for this. It's got fantastic paper, like all of his books do. Um, yeah, this isn't Amazon paper. This is this is really nice paper. I think that's it. So yeah, so if you're interested in this type of a coloring, if I tell you this is easy coloring. So when you need an easy, I don't know, I still like that one. So when you need an easy coloring, I'm gonna put the bark mark right there. Sometimes, I mean, I would spend more time on a matchstick mouse than I would on this. This really, I'm not gonna do any shading on it. It's just gonna be straight coloring. I'll pick out, you know, the hardest part will be picking out the colors for the butterflies. But um, and maybe I'll definitely add some bling somewhere, but you don't wanna add the bling where the shadow is because you want the shadow to come through. So I'd put bling like here, maybe where the butterfly wings are but you just let the shadow, like right this, I would probably just paint that, like if I wanted that to be a pink butterfly going away, I would just paint pink over it, or paint, color pink over it with a marker, and it'll still look like a pinkish gray, but those, the, the tips of the wings will show up pink that don't have shading on it. Yeah. Like, uh, I think the deer shows that off better. See the shadowing here? I just use the same kind of yellow brown for everything. It's all the same color. And I, I, I was early on coloring. I didn't even know how to color without streaks. But it's so forgiving because of the shadowing, it just looks like more, like it looks intentional. I just wasn't very good coloring at that point. I was not good coloring here at all, but it looks pretty good, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and all I did was just color it. I didn't even do anything to this woodwork. So yeah, this is a great beginner book in my mind. So I will be doing something out of this, hopefully. Again, since I don't have a buddy in it, it's going to be um, low on the priorities. But again, it's so quick and easy that I think I can fit it in. So if you would like to do, I think this astronaut butterfly one will be one that I think I might want to do. If you want to do a space page out of this book, let me know. All right, that's a fun one. Okay, here's another one I don't have a buddy in. And this is an untouched book. This was a gift from my beautiful friend. You wanna see the note? I love looking at the notes. Someone kept the notes. This is Tammy, my friend Tammy. <laughs> I love her so much. This one I haven't been able to color in yet. And um, I think I have, I, I try to color in all gifts that are given to me within two months. So this one is due, way due. So I definitely wanna to try to get to this. I, it's not a buddy again. And the page I have picked out is this one, the star catcher with the bunny rabbit. I am really drawn, I've been drawn to this page over and over. Um, I just think it's very interesting. Like the clothing that they're wearing, the fact that this creature has pointed ears and little elf shoes, like what are they? The bunny rabbit's the child size or is the child the bunny size? It's just really neat. And I'm gonna probably use a water mediums with this. Um, and then it's got the moon out there that's very defined and all the stars and they're catching stars. So that's gonna be my space timber for this. For, and I definitely, you know what? I don't have a buddy in it, but I'm, this is gonna be on the definite, on the definite one. So, um, cause this book deserves to be colored in. So let me know if you wanna do this page. I'm gonna definitely do it. In fact, I'm gonna add it right now. Be right back. 
Okay, that was successfully added to my yes, it's gonna happen in space timber pile. Um, then I have a buddy, and this one is with Mindy Bride, my friend Mindy. She's at Coloring with Cats Among Orchids. I, I get that wrong a lot, but I'll make sure to get all the names across here. And um, she also likes this book. This book is a great book. This is my favorite glass book. Um, I pretty much, I have one other that I've kept out of just nostalgia, but I've gotten rid of most of the others. They, they're, they're all the same. This is the only one that has different sorts of pages in it. Like everything's glass. It's not just in a glass jar. Like their bodies are made of glass and they're, you know, everything's glass. And so what we're doing, I love this page of the Nautilus, but, and it, and, there's a ton of space in here, a ton. Most of it is space. Um, I would say over half the pages are in space. And I've done a space one. I've done this one and I've done this one. So yeah, they, they are, it's mostly in space. I started this one, haven't finished it yet. So you're gonna find this, almost this entire book is space pictures. So the one that we're doing together is this one, The Space Witch. And because it's also witchy season. And I've been really looking forward to this one. This one has been on my radar to be the next page I do in this book for a while now. Because everything's glass. Her hat, And it has, and the other neat thing about this book is they're not only glass, they have water in them. So it's glass with some water in it and then something in the water floating. So what she has is a water-filled glass hat with some flowers in it. She's got glasses on, she's drinking glass, and look, I'm gonna make those strawberries <laughs> in her glass. Her her shirt is glass, her, her sleeve there is with some, you know, you can see the water line and it's got um, butterflies and flowers in it. And her dress is glass that she's sitting in and it's filled with water. And um, it's got flowers and stars and stuff. And she's sitting on a cloud in space. Yes, of course I'm going to do this. So we're going to, so Mindy and I are going to have a great time doing this one. And I love to make these pages bright and colorful. I don't do any fancy shading. I just use alcohol markers and glitter pens and things like that. So this will be one of my in-between really tough pages. And I'm actually looking at it. I just can't wait to start. I, I really do love this book. I don't, buy a lot of cocoa wow in fact i don't buy any cocoa wow anymore because i've just fallen out of love with this paper i can't stand the way it feels and but the cocoa wows i have kept are ones that i really love and i don't mind that they're on the the cheap paper actually because i don't want to you know get real fussy with this although this particular image would look really cool in um like really well done printed out on some fancy paper and using some water mediums and stuff. It would be really neat. Look how nicely printed the black is. Where was this page printed? It can't be Oregon, because Oregon is always bad. The Troutdale one. I bet it's Vegas. Why can't I, why can't I get to the back? I should not use, yeah, it's Vegas. Whenever I get books printed in Las Vegas, it's beautiful printing, but not in an Oregon. So that's Glassy World with Coco Wire and my friend Cindy. Okay, um, this one I do not have a buddy in, and this is very low on the on the on the list because I have so many. But I haven't touched this book for a while. Now I I had a, a colorist friend say this one was out of print, which is a shame. Now this one's on typical Amazon paper, yeah. But the artwork is so good, so I think this is one I did. Um, I, and everything in here, a lot in here has space. I mean, look at that. I think the artwork, I like Eric Barrett. Oh, things on top of turtles, turtles with things on their back. I think that Eric Barrett is just so, so talented. So almost everything will go, and these are in chapters. There's so much space stuff in here that, oh, look at that. And I just pulled it out to show you in case you have this one because this is a book that gets forgotten. Oh, that's not space, but I've always wanted, he has neat perspectives so that you're under the water looking up at a guy standing on water. I think it's cool. But um, that one's neat. There's a really cool, I don't know if you can label that space. I don't think so, but that's weird. 
but I love this one. I'm going to do this for Mermaid next year. I love it. I had wanted to do it this year, but I can't remember what book this image was in, and then I found it later. Anyway, this is a, a beautiful book. If you can find it, I would grab it, even though it's, you know, Amazon paper. It's just the images are so stunning. I think this is the one I was thinking about with the sunfish made of what looks like clouds. And her, you can ride turtles. Just no longer allowed to put things on turtle shells. I'm so tired of that trope. It's way overdone. Um, but this would be fairly easy. I would make the clouds. I would do this in pastels, really, I think. Pinks and blues. And it would just be so cute and pretty. So if I were to do this book, let me put a bookmark there. I'd do that one. But um, I don't know if I'll get to it. So yeah, lots of space ones in this. Here's one I did. Um, the, the pages just come out so nice. And this is all alcohol markers with some acrylic gel pen. And that's about it. So they just come out really nice. I think I have another one in there I've done. Maybe not. Maybe I've only done the two. Yeah, I think I've only done the two. Yeah. So that's on my radar, but not making the list quite yet. But if you have this book, take a look at it. Here's one that I will not be coloring in in Space Timber, but I wanted to show it to you because a lot of you have this one. This is the only other jar one that I kept. And I guess you could say it's the only jar one I have because the other one's Glassy World. It's not jars. But um, this one I like less. I've done this. This was a fun buddy color. But I like this one less because the paper is really bad. It's that terrible, terrible newspaper where it has that gray cast to it. it it's really awful. But if you have this book, there's quite a few space pages in it. So you could probably, you know, make a lot of these space. There's a great one with him looking up at the astronaut in a bottle. <laughs> That's a great one. So if you have it, um, this is another one that you could probably find space pages in to do. So I just brought this out for, to mention it to you. Okay. This one surprised me. So there's quite a few of you that are going through your mythographics and looking for space pages. So there's some great videos out there. So look for space timber, space September planning, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of space um, excavations and explorations of people's coloring um, collections. And I was not feeling, of course, I was flat in bed. So I was, I couldn't color. So I was pulling books out to just look through them because I love to do that. And my books live in my bedroom. And I was shocked. I don't know why that's got a big dent there. I was shocked to find a space one in here. <laughs> so this is Fabiana Atanasio. Um, and it's supposedly underwater, right? It's everything underwater. This one was not as popular as some of her others. It, um, because a lot of us saw deep blue and was thinking, ooh, she was going to do, you know, really deep ocean scenes. What it ended up being, because it's, of course, Fabiana, is creatures turned into mer creatures. And then, you know, her typical, like, just all kinds of stuff put in the page. I love this one. So I haven't colored in it yet. In fact, I just like, I've just looked through it. But look at that. That's totally, probably you know, a jelly otter with fish in space. Of course, why not? That could work. And then, <laughs> I love this octopus. He's sewing himself. It's like a quilted octopus. I mean, very clever, but not. I'm not sure why. what makes that deep blue. So I think maybe it was just sort of named in a way that we all thought it was going to be something different. I heard that a lot when people flip through this book. They're like, oh, I just thought it was going to be different. But here's the one that I love. Let me bring it in a little bit. So, <laughs> I have always loved this page. This is my favorite page in the whole book. And as I was flipping through, I was like, oh, yeah, this page exists. I forgot. And it's a little, like, robot boy whose feet are off the ground hanging on to a sunfish that's flying. And there's a moon. And there's all these beautiful Chinese lanterns. I mean, this is totally a space picture. Robots can be space. So, I really thinking about doing this now this depends if I can get through my buddies fast enough because um this one is not on uh, is not a buddy but if you wanted to do this with me and would give me 
grace if I don't finish it in September. I really want to do this because I don't think I've done anything in this book. Nope. This is an untouched book. So another goal of mine, I mean, yes, Space Timber is fantastic and I'm going to be celebrating it in every way possible. But another goal of mine is to get my untouched books percentage down to below 25%, which I think it is. But we won't know until we finish my <laughs> book audit and get all my books into my journal and my inventory. Um, so this would actually go towards that goal. And so I'm really excited about it. And plus, it's a, it's a page that I, I have. I can see colors in my head. I really want to do this. Um, I mean, this, these are corals. So this could even be underwater, but with the moon. I mean, you could make this and this could be a foreign planet, which is kind of how I'm going I saw it was as a foreign planet. I'm not going to make these into corals. I'm going to make these into foreign plant life and, um, and out in space. I just think it's beautiful. So, uh, yep, I'm putting a, this one's going on the will do pile. And if you would like to buddy with me, that just hit me up. I'm going to add this to my list. Now, I will be doing uh, a Mythagoria, uh, but not out of this book, but I wanted to show you. Um, this is Night Terrors by Fabiana Atanasio. It's my favorite one by Fabiana in this series, including her brand new one. I like this one better than any of them. And um, there are some space ones here. So here is an astronaut who's been caught into the tentacles of this space creature. Um, and I know... I know watching flip throughs that it's hard to see mythographics from a distance. So I like to hold them up and zoom in and things so you can see. But this is a Mythagoria. Um, and then I saw another one in here. Oh, there's one I did. I guess I could have made that one into space too, couldn't I? I did that last year or the year before for Christmas. That's Krampus. I did that all in pencil. That was a labor of love. Um... Nope. Uh, this is another one I did. This is the very first page I did as an adult colorist, pretty much. I haven't been able to replicate that glow since. <laughs> I know it was polychromos. It was a tiny, that tiny little pack of polychromos that I had at a time, but I don't know how I did it. <laughs> uh, here, this is another space one. It's got the, and I've seen this done, which I love. It's got this dead whale. Um, it's just a whale carcass type thing. And I, you could do it, and there's a jellyfish, so you could do this as underwater looking up out of the water, and there's a, there's a, and there's a planet. It's probably how I would try to do it with a perspective, or you could put that this is, you know, part of space or, you know, or just leave it indeterminate. But this would be a neat one to do for the spooky. Oh, yeah, I did her. I think she's my favorite out of this book just because I love the washi tape, the washi tape kimono. And there's probably more in here. Um, Fabiana does a lot with space often. That's such a neat page, isn't it? Um, I haven't looked through all of here. This was this is a sea ocean one. Now, see, this was the idea I thought deep blue should be something, maybe not scary, but something deep and dark, and you know the deep things. I, it's a mermaid skeleton. I made that the birth of a mermaid, not the death of a mermaid. <laughs> but there's probably um, oh, there's my. No, this is my favorite one out of the book. This is one of my favorite pages ever. This is a Wendigo. I, uh, it's very shiny. I need to use that more. I need to figure out what that was. <laughs> Look back and I think it's metallic gouache. I think it's heme metallic gouache. But anyway, there's probably more space in here. I'm not sure. Um, this is one of my most colored Mythagorias, but that one with the whale, definitely is a keeper if you want to do a spooky space timber. Now, I do want to do a spooky space timber. <laughs> so I have a Mythagoria buddy in Frozen Nightmares, and I'm very excited because if I remember right, yeah, this one's not touched. Um, this was a recent one. This was a gift from Anonymous. I love you, Anonymous. This one was... Uh, one I didn't have in my collection because I, it's Fabiana and I know she loves her crystals and I just thought, oh, it's just a lot of frozen crystals. And it kind of is in a way, but it's also really interesting because wait till you see the page that Ambient Landscapes and I are doing together this month. I'm so excited. This is, uh, is this our first buddy? I don't know, Swiss Cheese Brain? It might not be. 
but I'm really excited about doing this one. And see, this this is not just crystals, and I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. I love that deer. But the one we're doing is, for those of you that don't want to spend a bunch of time looking at spooky, it's not that one, is it? Hold on. <laughs> we talked about that one. The one we're doing is this one, uh, which is about as spacey as you can get. I mean, those are planets. That's an alien. There's some frozen stuff around. I think I might just make them into colored crystals, perhaps. I'm not sure. I, I have an idea of what I want to do with this one, but not a very big idea. So this is going to be fun. I'm really excited about it. I don't think I've ever... I mean... I have the alien, the alien worlds group, which is uh, hashtag alien worlds data report. And, but I haven't gotten to a planet yet that had something this menacing. So I have never, and those, this is the first space experience I've had in coloring is with um, alien worlds. So I've never colored an alien quite like this. Now all aliens are different. And this reminds me of one of the aliens from the movie Alien. Um, so I might take some reference from there, but I'm really excited about this, buddy. This is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to have to put a bookmark there because <laughs> first I'll end up coloring the wrong picture because there are a few space ones in this book. This book, and I was thumbing through it to find this page while I was off screen. This book is so cool. I forgot how cool this book was. I mean, I really like it. So I think this winter I'll try to do some more, focus more on this because I don't have anything colored out of it. And that's really a shame. Of course, I just got it as a gift, but I, you know, still it's been out for a while. I mean, it's 20. Oh, they always put the information in the back, don't they? It's 23. So it's a year old. <laughs> Look at that. I always love the colors of the Mythagorias. They've got all that bling. Okay, so that's Mythagoria Frozen Nightmares and a buddy with Ambient Landscapes. If you want to do, if you like spooky, now this isn't gory. This is just an alien, scary looking alien. If you want to join in on me with this, uh, me and Ambient, then give me a buzz and you can join us on that, on that buddy. All right, what do we have next? I'm not doing anything out of Cosmic Spirit for Space Timber, but I wanted to bring this one out because this one, everything's space, right? So, I mean, there's Sagittarius, that's me. Everything's space in here. So almost every, well, I'm gonna get a bunch of pages that aren't, but because, you have, because it's a zodiac, you have a lot of constellations, you have a lot of stars and moons, you have, and this is Fabiana again, um, everything like has space in the background. So almost every page in here would work. That one wouldn't, that's not a space one. That's my most recent one I did there. I love that one. But you know, if it's got stars in it, yeah, it's space. That one, not really, that one's in water. But I mean, you could, I mean, those are stars. You could call that, that's space. I mean, here's space. This is all the Zodiac ones. Pretty much all the Zodiac ones have space in it. This one, not so much. This one, not so much. That's um, one of the tarot cards. Now, I use this book heavily with my Color the Tarot series, which, yes, has not had a video in it for a bit. And I've just been so excited making all these other videos. We're up to the card Justice in the Major Arcana. So it's on my mind every day. And then um, I just need to sit down and do it. I think, you, yeah, this one's got planets. Yeah. In fact, this one's on my radar to do soon. Um, it's the Hierophant. It's a card we've already covered. Um, but I never did this page. Now, I'm not doing... I have five books that I work out of for the Tarot series. I'm not doing every card in every book. But I really like this. And I wouldn't mind finishing Cosmic Spirit someday. It's a, it's a fantastic... It's my favorite mythographic. It's a fantastic book. Um, yes... Yes, Joseph Kattenbeg's Wild Summer is phenomenal. And the only reason this edges Joseph's out is the, is the content, because it's something that I'm working heavily with right now and I'm really enjoying. Um, but yeah, this one is space. And if, you know, 
If there were two of me, I would add this one to Space Timber, but it probably will be the next one I do out of this book. There's a space one. Cute cats, Gemini. That's a space one, the Emperor. <sighs> Creepy half-naked man meditating, has no space. No space there with the Empress. There's space, that's Taurus. So yeah, a lot of these, that one doesn't have any in it. There's, there's space. I love this page too. I like the bling in it. So yeah, a lot of these, yeah, you could use that. I mean, they're just, it's just, there's the sun. I mean, you could use this full page. Yeah, a lot of these in Cosmic Spirit will work. So if you have Cosmic Spirit, just open it up and almost anything will work. Now I won't be doing a Rita Berman page uh, for Space Temper, but I know that a lot of you have Rita Berman and she doesn't tend to do spacey pages, but there is one in this book. And I know a lot of you have the, her Asian, her tour around Asia. And I've done a few, I've done quite a few in this book, but there is, um, there's a space page. You could totally use this one. And I've seen some of you do it. It's got the sun, but it's got, you know, a, a, a magic carpet. Why couldn't you use that? And stars and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, if you don't have some of these other kooky space books and you've got Rita Berman, look for that page. And like I said, there are several really nice um, videos out there showing space pages in all kinds of books because you do not have to buy a space book. Let me tell you, there's a space page in almost everything. There's very few artists I've found. I mean, unless they specialize like Lana Green, they specialize in portraits and stuff like that. You may not find space related books in those types of artists. Kanoko Gusa just has that one, but um, she may have more in her book. I don't know. I went through her books and didn't see any, but so many books have space. Just look through them and you'll find suns and moons and stars. Um, Shangri-La is not one that I have a buddy in, but I did find a space page. Look at that. Now, Shangri-La is untouched for me. Isn't that terrible? It's such a beautiful book. And it was a gift by Anonymous, who I love you, Anonymous. And this page I have marked because if I could get to it. Is that not beautiful? Like, that is so cool. This is, who is this that does this one? Alessandra Fusi. Yeah. And this is kind of where she started calming down and making things that we can color. And this, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I remember, I got, I got, that's space too. Those are planets. Yeah, I would look through this book if I were you, if you had this book, because it's neat. It's, it's, it's really neat. It's a gorgeous book. I don't hear this one talked about that much. It came out in a glut of mythographics that came out. And it was sort of, it was, it was heralded for being a fantastic book at the time, but they were coming out bam, 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 bam. So it kind of got lost. So if you have Shangri-La by Alessandra Fusi, I would open it up because these, She's a fantastic artist. She really is. And she is learning to tone it down a bit so we can color. Um, and this is, I think, just a beautiful, beautiful page. So I really, really, this would be a page out of love that I'd have to sneak in amongst other pages. And I just don't know if I can do it. But I so want to, because look at that astronaut fishing for, fishing for planets. I mean, it's with a ladder. I mean, it's, it's great. It's really great. It's a great page. And you've even got some reflective stuff off of his off of his head helmet there. His head helmet. I think that's where you wear helmets on your head. Oh god. Don't get me started with things on packs of turtles. There's a great space one. That's cool. Wow, how I, I mean, where do they get these ideas? I don't know. So I've seen a lot of you that have done this one though. This is a very popular page. Yeah, so there's another space one. You could totally do that. My gosh, great book. So yeah, so I put this along with this fantastic Carolina, Carolina Kubowska, Kubakowska, Carolina Kubakowska. This is, um, this was in one of her books that my, my friend Sarah sent me and Carolina included these, this bookmark. So yeah, think about that. 
Jack, think about uh, this page. Jack wanted to say hello. So think about this page if you have Shangri-La, because gosh, I'd love to see finished pages of this. Awesome. So mythographic Shangri-La is an option. Mythographic myth Mythical Beasts is a brand new one. It is so good. Oh, it is such a good one. This is Veronica Kolinska, and um, I actually really love hers. She does other mythographics um, off the top of my head. I can't remember which ones. Let's see. She does Crystal Kingdom, which is another newish one, which is very, very good. And that might be the only other one she does. And I, I love her. Um, she's, she's a fantastic artist, and I'm glad they're in continuing her because I think she's a refreshing perspective in the mythographic series. And I am doing this one as a double buddy. This one is with, let me get the names right. Mythical Beasts. I just saw it on my list. There it is. No. Hold on. Oh my God. It was staring right at me on my list. It was the very first one. This is, I'm doing this with Amy Ward Art. So Amy, my friend Amy, and Paula at Coloring Mum. And um, this one is really cool. So these beasts, I mean, I'm sure you can find lots of space. Space, like there's, well, that's not one, but look at that, sea goat. Hey, J.I. Colorist, sea goat. Um, there's just so... Oh. Yes, it's a space one. You could do this one. I'm not. Um, there's so many really cool. I love this giant crab like tearing up Rome. <laughs> like, like, let's see what's up with the angry crab. Um, but this is a fantastic book. The the pay. I mean, the artwork is gorgeous. It's yes, she's got a, now a great mixture of detail and space. So these are colorable. Here's the one that we're doing. So. Yeah, if you haven't, Mythical Beasts is a phenomenal, phenomenal book. Now, we already entered my Mythographics in um, in my Coloring Inventory book, and we flipped through the whole thing. So if you want to see flip through, you go to that video, and you'll be able to see the whole flip through. Look at this space octopus. Is this not cool? Look, planets and galaxies, and he's got a ring around him, and there's a you know an enchanted doorway that obviously goes into the ocean, and he's got one tentacle in the ocean and one tentacle on land there but he's sort of the space bridge <laughs> more rings more planets i mean this is a cool page so excited about this page so this will be my first page in this book with the space octo if you want to join paula and amy and i feel free just give me a buzz and i'll add you to it but this is really really a neat neat page so yay i can't wait to do this one this octopus has stars on him i mean like oh i'm like how do i color him how do i color him i have an idea but we'll see okay so that is in mythographic mythical beasts which is a great great book if you don't have this one i highly recommend it in your collection <laughs> yes i'm doing a lot of mythographics <laughs> this is why i don't think i can add any more in at all but Mythographic Illusion is another one that I have never touched. Can you believe it? Now, this is Diego Weisberg. This is an older one. This is, no, I don't think it's too old. Yeah, 23. It's last year. This one was not as popular when it came out because it is strange. Um, it's a lot of juxt... Oh, please stop. It's a lot of juxtaposition of things that don't make sense. Some things are illusions, but mostly it's just strange things put together, right? So this one um, is hard for people to get un to get to get into, but the folks that love it love it. And I didn't have it in my collection, um, so this was a gift from Brooke, my friend Brooke, and she added it to my collection, which is phenomenal. And then once I got it home, I was like, 
why didn't I have this in my collection? Because this is a fantastic book. I actually really like it. I just need to get into it now. So this is a um, this is a buddy with my friend Jen at Chromatic Dilettante. And Jen and I are doing this. Oh, and I didn't, didn't mark it, so let's find it. But Jen and I are doing this fantastic page. Now, see, there's a lot of space here. This is another one we looked at. It's got like a giant seahorse and mushrooms and a snail and space. You know, I don't know what makes it an illusion, except that it's just odd things put together. I would see these things put together in a typical Fabiana page, right? There are some things that are optical illusions, but not many. Mostly it's just, uh, mostly it's just um, things put together that you wouldn't expect. And I think we were expecting more illusion. <laughs> But um, this one confused people, this book did. But I really love it. Now that I have it in my collection, I'm just like, see, here's an illusion. This is some tree branches, but if you step away from it, you can see it even easier in the camera. It's a lion laying there, right? So that's kind of what I was thinking. Of course, I'm glad it's not more of that because I wouldn't know how to, I don't really know how to color that. <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure I want to. I like these other pages better. This is an illusion, but this one's actually really neat. It's got the water and it's a man's, sort of a man's face with a beard. Yep, that one's really, really cool. I like anything with an octopus. That's kind of an Escher-isk type thing. That's very strange and fun. And it has planets. There you go. This one was on our list to look, we thought about um, the lion, griffin. What is this thing called? It's not a griffin if it's a lion, a winged lion. Shooting lightning out of its eyeballs and planets behind it. I mean, that's a really dynamic, cool page. And it was a hard, it was a hard choice. This is a really neat book. Um, we eventually decided on the one, this one. So this is the one we decided on. It's a contemplative man. Contemplative man, contemplative or contemplative? Not sure. Boat on a little island. He's kind of got a rocky, kind of forbidding looking water around him and a forbidding, you know, there's a tree. But there's a doorway standing there. And in the doorway is space. So we're all coming up with, um, Jen and I are coming up with different ideas of what this is. And I think Jen and I are approaching this differently, which is going to make it really, really cool. It's going to be a fun buddy. So I like this one because it's not just space in your face. It's um, this subtle, like, and there's so much emotion in this man's stance. He's not even looking through the doorway. It's almost like, is he waiting for something? Is he feeling like, is he feeling like there's, you know, there's no choice, it's whatever is inevitable, you know, is he just, he doesn't look happy. So what's going on here? Or is he just, you know, Neo? He's very cool. <laughs> I don't know. But this one's, this one's really cool. Now, I don't think it's a difficult coloring page. I mean, a lot of it is tree. But come up with the backstory and then color it in that way direction that's what I'm working on right now so this is a neat one so if you guys are interested this is in mythographic illusion it's a definite on my list with Jen okay let me check my list and of course dark fairies <laughs> this is a brand new book it was a gift from Kathy at, Tree, at True Not Cat. I'll put her name right here. Now, Kathy sent this book. I wasn't even aware it existed. She just thought I would like it. And she is so right. This book's freaking phenomenal. It's very, very detailed. But it is so cool. There is a lot of space options in this book. These are just some crazy scary fairies. And if you like scary fairies, you're going to like this book. Oh, my God. Look at her face. Yes. I just absolutely freaking love this book. This is going to be like the fine liners and gel pens, probably. This is a really neat space one with the planet behind all that hair. This is the ghost of the graveyard. And every single one of these is labeled to let you know what kind of fairy it is, which is just awesome. So I want to get into this book within the next two months, and it may not make it until October, which is fine because it's perfectly suited for October. Um, oh, she's so beautiful. 
Uh, is she not adorable? I love her. So, yeah, this one is one I thought about. It's the Creature of the Night page. She's sitting in front of a moon or planet of some sort, and she is wicked cool. Look at those wings. Yeah. Um, oh, she's awesome. That's a mermaid, but oh, what a mermaid. It's a siren, she says. Look at that. Serpentine queen. I mean, this book, you could do this one for space. That's a, that's a man. It's a werewolf. And I think, I think I said this before when I was flipping through it. That's probably the coolest werewolf I've ever seen. It's just really cool. This book, and I know some of you, oh, I love this one too. Now, this one is definitely space. This one is hellaciously detailed. But look at it. M cloud stars. She's called Psychic Power. She divines dark futures from her crystal ball, which is here. <laughs> it's hard to see, but it's it's got clouds and stars in it too. There's the moon phases here and big stars. I mean, you could definitely use this for space. And wow, is she beautiful. Wouldn't it be cool to make this like stained glass or wings look like they're stained glass? I, I've tried and tried to make things look like stained glass. I still don't have it down, but I like trying. Wow, that's neat. I'm not going to get to that in September. <laughs> I need to be realistic, but that is gorgeous. <sighs> so many beautiful pages. So, oh, isn't she beautiful? So I, I know some of you saw my flip through. I love this one's thighs. Look at her giant deer thighs. Is that awesome? That is awesome. And you went out and bought it after seeing me flip through this. A lot of you have gotten hold of me. Oh, that little creature is a goblin. So cool. I, I'd love to see your finished pages in it and, and what you think about it is... Is this not the most gorgeous artwork ever? Now there's one with the planet behind it. These are vampires. This would be really neat for Halloween. I think I would do this one in October. Halloween needs to be more than one month long. So yeah, there are some options in here. Um, Dark Fairies. This is illustrated by Tab Breath, which is not their full name her full name is and it's in here and i find it on accident all the time i think it's in the i think it's in the info page you can find her under tab breath um elsa descazo french i think so but you can find her it's this thunder bay press book so the paper is fantastic and one-sided yeah sorry about that Really neat book, didn't know existed. It is superb. And um, so this is an option if you guys want have this book, some of you that have bought it. So that's why I pulled it out because it's a new book for some of you. And there is some Space Temper pages in here. Great. Not for me. <laughs> I've got way too much going on. Okay, this will be happening though. I love this book so much. Um, I'm wanting to get the companion to this, which is the the cute one, not the creepy cute. The creepy cute has the purplish coloring on the pages where the cute mango one has pink. Um, I did a, <laughs> I have quite a few pages marked. Well, that's a beautiful postcard. Mm. Um, but I think I've got, <laughs> I love this one. I think this is, there's another like Carolina Kubakowska card. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you card. I, I've, I marked this one for Space Timber. I think I might do it though for Halloween. I'm not gonna mark any in here because I like them all and there's so many. This is, oh, this is the one. Yeah, that other one was Halloween. This is the one I think I'm gonna do. So the other one, the companion book to this has pink affects where this one has purple. Every single page in this book is phenomenal. I've only done one and it was a tester page testing all my mediums. So it was, you know, not really well thought out but so much fun. This paper is single-sided. It's nice and thick. It, um, I think it would handle water media if you're very careful. And it's very smooth. So it's, you know, it's kind of marker paper is what it is. <laughs> but I mean, almost everything has a space element to it. There's a lot of space in here. So this book was definitely on my radar, but this one is so space. 
Look at it. Isn't that adorable? So that's actually happening. I, that, I, that's going to be some, an easy page in between all my hard ones. I definitely will not do anything fancy with it. So if you have this Manga Sparkle, and it actually really does. I don't know why they call it Manga Sparkle, because the only sparkle is on the cover. There's no sparkle inside. It's matte. But um, if you want this one by Kay Camaro, if you have the Creepy Cute and um, you want to do this with me, this page that is happening yes it is isn't cute bunny astronaut <laughs> i just love it okay that's creepy cute an enchanting and shimmery anime and manga style coloring book now i have this one um on my, just to show you that RJ Hampson also has space pages. I am thinking about doing one in one of his other books, but this book is an untouched book for me. So I did pull it out. Um, this was also a gift. All my RJ Hampson's were gifts and I'm so excited about them. This one came from Carrie K, my friend, Carrie K, K Carrie. I love this Moonlight Mischief one. It's one of my favorites. Um, I love the cover. I love everything about this book. And one of the space ones is this one. It's kind of got a little Prince feel to it. Um, it's such an adorable page. And it would be a fantastically fun page for someone to do for Space Timber. Let's look at its dark version. Um, and see what the... Oh, yeah. See, I would probably do that one and then just not even bother with this exterior stuff. Uh, so neat. So neat. I don't know if there's anything different but the black background... And I don't think so. I think it, I think it's just the black background. But it's just so beautiful um, with this little space explorer. And it would be a really fun one to do. Another one that R.J. Hampson has in this book is this one. Uh, the little bear looking through the telescope at planets and such. And the little mice and stuff. Um, it's really a de more detailed page. But most of the detail is this plant life. So it's not too hard. Little mice or adorbs. There's, it's a little bit different in the dark version. Um... Actually, I think it's just, yeah, it's just darker. So it has, and I like this version better because I love that black right there. But, you know, it's got a lot of critters in it. Look at the chameleon. Gerby. Is it a chameleon? Gecko. Chameleon. Gecko. Hmm. I think it's chameleon. And the mice and mice. So there's a lot going on here. They're playing some music. It's kind of, you know, really cool. So there's a couple of space pages in Moonlight Mischief if you're interested and you have this book. And I would recommend going through all the R.J. Hampsons. Um, but this one has it. Um, and the one, the page that I want to do is in Lost and Found. And I'll show you right here. All right. So my back was hurting. So I got up and made myself some dinner. And I thought I'd show you. This is, uh, uh, I don't know if food ever looks good on camera or not, but... This is a stir fry I made with all vegetables that I got from the farm next door. There's some Chinese eggplant and zucchinis and carrots and, and onions and um, also some of these uh, chakbak, I think they're called. They're Korean rice cakes. Oh, they're really good. I usually boil them, but this time I just put them in the frying pan with everything else. Mmm. There's some seasonings in there, hot peppers, hot chili peppers. Oh, there's also some sweet pepper in there. There's the sweet pepper. Mm. And um, it's cooked with sesame oil. And at the end, I put in some really high quality soy sauce. And this time I also put in mm, hoisin sauce. So it's a little sweet and thick and barbecue-y. Anyway, I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian, but this is what I have for dinner tonight. So that's in a coconut bowl that I purchased online. I don't really recommend them. They don't hold in the heat and they're hot. And I just wanted to be eco-friendly and bougie like that. But anyway, so we're going to put it aside. And with it, I have some fresh goat milk. Hmm. I'm lactose intolerant. And I recently found a source of local goat milk and the goat, it really depends on the breed of goat and actually the individual goat, but this goat puts out fantastic milk, so I absolutely love it. Okay, so we're getting back to where we were and I was talking about RJ Hampson and I got to thinking, uh, the picture I picked out for Space Timber was out of Lost and Found. So, um, 
but I've colored out of Lost and Found and I haven't had a Moonlight Mischief, so maybe I'll swap it around. I'm not sure. But um, the page I love in Lost and Found is this one. Have I colored in Lost and Found? Yes. This was a fantastic buddy color and lots of fun. Lots of fun. So this was, um, let me push you back a little bit. There we go. So, yay, I loved him. But I love this one. But I think I like the dark version better, which is this one. Yeah, it's a lot less coloring for one thing. So this is the one I'm planning on doing. Um, if anybody wants to do the light version with me, that would be fun. Um, and then we can pair the two. Uh, so this one... Um, I think it's just so cute. It's got dragons, it's got alien. He's like, hey, like that. Um, then there's just like all kinds of little creatures and aliens, there's a telephone. I mean, I think this is just great. And he's trying to press the on button. I'm not sure what's gonna happen when he presses that button. <laughs> but really, 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 I mean, look at all the space stuff that's in there. This is such a tall book. So yeah, this one's on my list. Lost and found space page. So if anybody wants to color with me and RJ Hampson Lost and Found, hit me up. Okay, this is a new book that I found. Um, I think this was one of the ones I found at Joann's. They were having a sale. Of course, they're always having a sale. And uh, this is not for Space Timber. This is just, I really enjoyed this so much. It's hard for me not to dip into it every evening. And this is a paint with water. You might have seen um, Amanda Colors on her channel doing paint with waters. This paint with water is just, its they look like this when you start, and then when you finish, when you, all you do is add water. So that this is the one I did for, uh, I'll be showing it in my August completed pages. You just put a little water, and now it is, there is a learning curve, because you don't want to smear this color into this color, so there's a learning curve on, and it took me a bit to figure out. But it was so fun. It's pretty good paper. It does crinkle up a bit with the water, but it, it flattens right back out. And so um, I'd like to do one of these a month as sort of uh, when I need a, you know, a brainless break. So I'm going to do something out of here probably again. And it will just be one of those nights where I'm not feeling great. And I want to do something easy that doesn't require any thought. Like this is even less thought than a color by number because all you use is water. And it's so really, ooh, that's pretty. I'd like to try that. And it's Thomas Kincaid, so colors, I mean, the colors don't make sense all the time, but they're beautiful, like there's purple in water. I mean, even though it's just a paint by wa water, there's still light in it, which is Thomas Kincaid's signature style, is putting light in it. So, yep, so I'll be doing something out of this paint with water through the seasons. Um, definitely loving this book and I got it at Joann's but I think you can also get it on Amazon and it does include a paintbrush which is cute <laughs> all right another one I got going is out of this wonderful book now this is if I remember correctly let me look at my list this is with Liliana from Poles Coloring and Kate from Coos Life and Color we are doing the meerkat out of this one. And you guys all know, hi, so cute. You guys all know the meerkat one. Um, that, this one, we're gonna do this one. Now this has nothing to do with space. This just has everything to do with, we just like coloring out of this book. <laughs> And it was a, a kind of a little a little color with these two, with Liliana and Kate, and I just kind of jumped in. And so we're going to uh, do this page. So if you want to do the meerkat page, let me know. We can add you to that little group. And that's the big adventure coloring book. That was the newer one, but now there's Rainy Day. And then there are two new Annie Days coming out. Did you guys know that? I love Annie Day. All right, Enchanted Galaxies. I don't have a particular page out of this one, and I know a lot of you have this book. A lot of you are planning on doing something out of this for Space Timber. It would be a total shame to not do something out of this book for Space Timber. This is a fantastic space book. Very thin pages, kind of like um, uh, like the Gonzales ones, the Sea of Colors and the Magical World of Fairies, Magical Color Fairies. There's so many great pages. I feel like I'm just gonna, I have to do one out of here for Space Timber. I'm probably going to just pick one 
what I feel like. This is the one that I have marked and it's probably gonna be the one because I really like this page. Yeah, I picked it. I mean, I've looked at this book a million times trying to find a page and this one is just so dang cute. So I think I'm gonna do this one for Space Timber, but I'm always up for to color out of this book. This is a fun, fun book, even though the page is so, I mean, it's almost tissue thin, it's so thin. Things on the back of turtles. That's not a page I'm gonna be up for coloring ever. But even the dual pages are single-sided because they don't print anything on the back. Isn't that cool? I just think every book should do this. That's a fun one too. This one was also on my eyesight, uh, my list here, thinking about it. <laughs> it might happen, I don't know. Things might change, but every single page, not a, not a double spread. Um, that's, I won't be doing that. I've got too much planned for September to do a double spread, but <laughs> this one's so cute. They're hanging up their laundry. Um, this whole book is precious. So I don't know if you're planning on doing something out of here. We could always just do a buddy together, but do different pages. Just do buddy out of this book. You know, it's fun to color and just share our, what we do. You know, I'm up for anything, but this book is, oh, isn't that pretty? But something is definitely happening out of this book because that would be silly to not color out of this book for Space Timber. <laughs> And of course, another book that would be silly not to cover color out of is Lost Forest. Now, this is by Ghost Shrimp, who's the artist for um, Adventure Time. And some of you purchased this after I flipped it. And some of you already had it. This is a wacky book. I got it on sale at Joann's. I love it. Well, I got, okay, caveat. I got it on sale at Joann's. And the next day, I opened the mail, and it was a gift. And it was a gift from Rachel at Jelly Starburst. So I will be giving away... Actually, at the end of this video, if you have stuck this out, I'm giving away a copy of this. So the copy that I purchased, I'm going to give away. Now, um, unless we can figure out the shipping, it really needs to be to someone in the United States. I'm so sorry. Um, I am just not a wealthy nun. <laughs> so getting it to another country might be hard unless, you know, you can't get this book and you desperately want it and, and, um, and you think you can help me out with the shipping whatever. But if you want this book, leave a comment down below with an LF at the end. Lost Forest, LF. And then what I'll do is um, at the, I'll, I'll wait two weeks, mid-September, I will um, do a random number generator and go through the comments and pick the, fir the number of the commenter that comes up with LF. So definitely, um, I've got a brand new version of this book. This book is fantastic. I've only done one page. That's this one. It was I was testing mediums and I just love it. This paper is thick, can take water mediums. It is single-sided. It's just a lovely, lovely book. I don't, and out of this book, <laughs> I keep getting ahead of myself. So yes, at the end of this video, I will remind you that I'm going to give away a copy of this book for Space Timber. Um, I have two pages, two different buddy colors. Now I could have combined people, but I just like this book so much that I was, yeah, let's do, uh, I had one person approach me for one page and one person for another page. And I'm like, instead of asking either one of them to join the other's page, and so we could just do one page together. I like, no, I want to do both pages. I love it. So what we're doing is the tropical vacation forts. So in the forts in the back, oh, it's right here. I'm doing this one with Fef Creates. And this one is so great. It's like the alien has landed, but this is like a vacation. Like, cause they're all in their skivvies. <laughs> they're all in like, like bikini swimwear, the aliens and the people. And you know, she's walking her baby and she's like, they're all over, it's like a vacation. And so both Fef and I thought this was hysterical which every page in here is hysterical. So we're doing this one and she really likes forts too. And I, I think this is great. I'm gonna make it all sandy and like, like it's a tropical vacation site. So Fef Creates and I are doing this one. So I'm sure she wouldn't care if you want to do this page. Um, definitely just inst message me on Instagram and you can do this page with us. The other one I'm doing is with uh, Jesse, Jesse in color. And we're doing, the jail school. <laughs> okay, this is, okay, all these pages are funny. I'm gonna say it every time I 
color page in here. I'm like, this is the funniest page in the whole book. Well, they're all funny. I mean, this guy has a toilet on his head. Um, so let's uh, find the jail school. And this book is thick, and you can probably, you can hear the pages falling. They're very thick. It's just really delightful to color on. I love it. Here's the jail school. Okay. This is hysterical because it's a school and it's a jail. <laughs> it's got the big wire and the signs crack me up. It says danger. Then the sign next to danger says rules. And then a little tiny sign uh, there on the gate says don't. <laughs> and it says no, stop, danger, ADHD. <laughs> But they're escaping. They're, they, they've got this, another, it looks like the tropical planet, the tropical resort from my other page, doesn't it? And it looks like it's uprooted itself and flown over here and, it, and, and they're escaping. Now, whether they're escaping from the jail or the school or both, we don't know, but they're escaping. And one person ended up on a pole way up here and then so there's an alien coming to pick them up. Now, I don't know if that's a jail alien that's going to, put him back in, or if it's someone rescuing him up to here, I don't know. And the aliens are riding dinosaurs. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's happening. So if you want to color this page, hit me up and you can join me and um, Jesse, and we'll color together. All right. That's Lost Forest by Ghost Shrimp. So I'm really excited about this buddy. This is a buddy um, with my friend Shauna at Shauna Colors. And this book was a gift to me. And this was, again, from Kathy, from True Not Cat. And this, um, I think, came from her, her own collection. And I don't have any of Maria Troy's. And I never really thought I'd be that interested. Um, she sent this to me pretty sure that I would be. And she's right, of course, because she's brilliant. I love this book. So I'm going to do... Shauna Colors and I are going to do this one. Now, I have to go through my Instagram messages. Um, I Once I hurt my hip, I was kind of out of it for about a week. But I know some there's a, one or two more people joining me on this one. So if you want to do this page, hit me up. I'm making a group chat, and we'll have everybody in there. And we can do this page together. It shouldn't be very hard, um, but I think it could be gorgeous. So depending on how you interpret this water and her hair in the water, I just think this will be stunning. So, and what a fun addition to a space timber prompt. I mean, Maria Trolle, you wouldn't, wouldn't really think there'd be space pages, but this is a great one. And this is from Nightfall. So if you don't have Universe, but you have Nightfall, you'll find this page. Universe is a compilation book of, of many of pages from all of, her, all of her books. So this page from Nightfall is what we're going to be doing. So yeah, instant message me if you want to do this page with me. Fun. I'm really looking forward to this one. I may just use straight pencils. This is this will be my first Maria Trolley ever, so I've never colored on this paper. I, I don't know anything about it, but um, gosh, it's beautiful. Can't wait. So yeah, that's Maria Trolley. Hey guys, so I'm inserting this one uh, at, uh, somewhere into the video because after I got done filming, I realized I missed Nice Little Town 15, Tatiana Bogema Stolova's space, space one. Remember this? So let me turn off this. And um, this is our, this is her space version, Nice Little Town 15. I have it on PDF. And um, this whole book is space i love this one it's like straight out of star wars but they're all fantastic every single page is fantastic and my dear friend tammy colors too tammy and my other friend Gemma at color me gem uh we decided we wanted to do a page out of this because this was book was made for space timber and um looking through it it was so hard it was so hard to choose tammy finally stepped up and like look blah here's like four or five pages what do you guys think 
And one of, <laughs> I just love it. It's this like, it's exactly what our hashtag alien worlds data report group does, what our space explorers. It's like, we're these explorers and we're exploring different planets. So this book is very popular and very dear amongst us space explorers because it's just, I mean, that's us. That's us. That's us right there. Look at that. That's me taking a picture of, Oh, this crazy thing. <laughs> so um, I, <laughs> they're just fantastic. Some of us have rovers like that. So this page here, it was one of the ones that Tammy suggested. And this is my favorite page of the book. This is um, a mouse here who's just sitting in meditation or yoga or just relaxing, maybe having red, has some slippers, a nice little lava lamp. Looks like they're in their space pod. See, there's their helmet there. And, you know, they've just got some of their gear. Looks like it's maybe like a space station. They've got some exercise, some lights they're planning on putting up. And they're just sitting here watching space creatures go by. So this particular creature is looking down at him and, and it looks like it's in a pod of a few of these creatures. And I just, I don't know why I love this. It just reminds me of being in my cabin and sitting there peacefully watching the birds and stuff outside. So I have thought that I, out of this entire book, this is my favorite page. And since it was one of the ones Tammy chose, I was like, yes. So this is the one we're doing for Space Timber. Uh, Tammy and Gemma and, uh, and Gemma and I, Gemma, Gemma, I think it's Gemma. Um, definitely, uh, if you're interested in doing this page with us, just uh, instant message me or just direct message me on Instagram, and I'd love to do it with you. So, and I want to thank uh, Soraya Colors who started the Space Timber hashtag, and then everybody who has volunteered to help her with it because this is turning out to be a lot of fun. Okay, on with the show. So I'm enjoying my dinner so much, I had to pause for a second to eat more of it. Um, I wanted to tell you one of the reasons that I do eat like this with, pretty much eat stir fry, some way, some form of stir fry all the time, is because um, I don't like to go into town because I spend a lot of time on the road and in a town where I work. So when I'm home, I like to stay out here in the woods. So. I eat what the farm grows or I grow um, as a way of vegetables and such. I get milk like I showed you locally, my, my yummy, yummy goat milk. Mm. You'd be surprised. It tastes just like cow milk. And, um, and then I order things off of Amazon. So I get like this, this, these rice cakes off Amazon, which are delicious. Um, <laughs> have to eat one. Um, I get rice off Amazon. I get my fancy soy sauce off Amazon. So between Amazon and a local farm, you can do pretty well. So if you live out in the country, that's how I do it. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Those rice cakes are like mochi. They're chewy. They're delicious. My last buddy color is the biggest one. Um, out of a million little monsters, there is a bunch of us doing this page. Is that not the cutest page ever? And we all thought this knocked it out of the park because of A, space, B, adorable. C, she's a witch and we're heading into witchy season. Come on, Jeff. One second, I gotta get my dog on the couch. Oh, he just wants my dinner because it looks good. So yeah, we're going to do this one. And I think it's adorable, don't you? Lots of lovelies in it. So this is a buddy so far with Rachel Colors Crafts. Tammy Colors too, my sweet friend Tammy. Coloring and Relaxing, that's Libera, I think is how you pronounce her name. Hannah Renee Art, and Mallory at M Colors. So all of these lovely human beings are gonna be coloring this with me. If you wanna join, just instant message me, or I keep saying that, Instagram message me, direct message me on Instagram and we can color this together. So cute, and that's in A Million Little Monsters, Lulu Mayo. So that's the end of it. Um, wow, that is a lot. <laughs> I haven't counted it, and I don't think I'm going to. So if you see, saw anything you'd like to buddy with me, just um, hit me up. Uh, if you have another page you wanna do with me, I might have to wait till another month. This I, I will have to wait till another month. September's really full. And don't forget 
to put in your comments, at the end of your comment, LF, if you'd like a copy of The Lost Forest, of which I'm giving away to my dear friends here uh, to celebrate Space Timber 2024. And um, I'm not announcing it anywhere because it's kind of a surprise. I like to uh, reward the folks that, you know, that stick through these videos all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. So um, you won't see it in the thumbnail or anything. It's just a little surprise giveaway for you who watched this video so long. All right. I love you, and I hope everything is great for you tonight. Happy coloring, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.